Well, this certainly has been the most incredible week in the world, that's for sure. Good old COVID-19 is really changing everything, isn't it? Okay, couldn't really call it a lawn. Um, I've put a whole heap of top dress down on it. The weather here, um, like today, has been 32, so we're still getting good temps. And uh, the next week or so is going to be uh, in the higher 20s. So I'm still going to get some growth really helping this puppy along, that's for sure. And that's important. You can already see some green coming out. It's only been down a couple of days. It might be a bit, a bit hard to see on the camera. But uh, this week, uh, my life has been turned upside down as well. Um, I got told on the Monday today, Saturday, uh, that uh, I will need to be going away uh, for quite a period of time to help stop the spread of the uh, COVID-19. So uh, that is my priority right now. So it really forced my hand uh, with the lawn. So I ordered up the soil straight away. I got that down um, over two days after it was delivered on Wednesday. And the soil that I'm using is a, is a blended loam called 821 from Hydrix Landscape Supplies in Port Pirie. And yeah, it's gonna, you know, like this lawn was just totally rutted out and uh, the soil underneath was really, really bad. I really wanted to, uh, you know, uh, loosen up that ground a little bit, but I just did not have time. Uh, every day was like, you could be going tomorrow. So I just got the soil in and got it down. And look, it's coming along quite well. I also wanted to get rid of the irrigation, but because I didn't know what I was going to be doing the next day, um, I've abandoned that plan. So that's why I've got some bits in the center still because you know uh, I need to get water to it. I've got that little uh, irrigation timer battery powered which I can spread out my, my times. And at the moment, every three hours, 10 minutes of water is going down just to keep the soil wet for the growing of the lawn. Whether I'm gonna get back here or not is gonna be quite um, difficult to, to know. Um, it's gonna be a day by day thing. So I'm hoping that I do at least get one day uh, in a week to zip back home and uh, do what I can to the lawn. So after I put the soil down, I just put some Four Seasons in. The soil seems to be accepting water well, so I haven't put any moist down on that. Um, I don't think there's any bugs in my lawn, so I haven't bothered about the history either. So I've just kept it really, really easy. So just got the soil down, uh, leveled it out with the soil spreader that uh, I got from Turfmate. Thank you very much, Turfmate, for that. And basically uh, let this grow in. Um, so the plan is that I will be here uh, next Sunday, so uh, eight days time. So I'm hoping that actually happens. That'll be really good if it does because then that means I can just come down and actually do something. And if I do get that time, what I'll do is I'll look at how much leaf growth I've got and start putting down launch and root builder. And, uh, well, you know, if I've got enough leaf growth and uh, I might even uh, chuck in some charger as well just to um, promote the growth and, and get coverage as soon as I can before this goes dormant. But luckily the weather next week is all 28, 29. Um, morning temperatures of around about 14. So there's going to be plenty of growth here, luckily. Um, wherever you are in your part of the world, I certainly don't recommend putting down... Uh, a heavy load of top dress um, to um, uh, you know uh, level it out because it's just the wrong time of year for that um, it's just the whole COVID-19 situation has totally forced my hand and I've just got to get it done get it done get it done so in the um, in the backyard I'm doing uh, things a little bit differently uh, and again this is the COVID-19 sort of stuff uh, you know, the family's going to be stuck here, uh, you know, isolating and uh, doing the right thing while I'm out and about uh, doing some vital work um, to stop the spread of COVID-19. And what the plan is there is I'm just going to leave it. I just want my family to have a bit of uh, lawn space. The areas where I treated for the kaikuya, they're starting to die off and that's great. Um, so uh, it's, I'm just going to leave that one totally, totally easy. So, you know, Heidi's got some 
uh, green lawn to play with and uh, it's looking quite healthy um, we're only watering it once a week so it seems to be working out okay uh, for the moment so I'm just going to keep it easy because I don't want my family to be burdened with a whole heap of uh, lawn stuff or looking at you know a, a big dirt patch um, when they could be using that area and space for relaxing and playing in because yeah she's going to get incredibly bored here uh, <laughs> you know so a bit of out outdoor tennis on the totem pole um, might be the order of the day. I certainly wish that I had a bit more time and I would have treated this area especially the house with glyphosate a bit earlier had I known but it is what it is. The bow and arrow treated bindi that's starting to die off so that's doing very well. So before I put the topsoil down the area needed a bit of a tidy up so I did a whipper snip of the areas first and then I tucked straight into a mow. Now these areas where the haunches I've decided to um, put the soil right up to where the pavers are so and this area that I'm at now um, I definitely want to raise up quite a lot so that area especially around here is going to be quite thick and I don't expect much growth to happen from this area at all for quite some time. Now this above ground irrigation is an absolute nightmare but for the moment I'm going to have to keep it. I don't have time to deal with it and at least it's getting some water to my lawn which is very necessary and it's connected to a programmable timer so that will get me by especially while I'm away. Now neaten this up with the HRU 216VYU from Honda and I did it at a number two and then later on I did it at a number one to really neaten it up and that's about 25 millimeters when you're done. This mower it just slays through the job and I did a review of it if you click the top right that'll take you to the video. You can actually smell the eucalyptus when you were going through that, hitting those gum nuts and everything. It's just uh, a lot of stuff there that, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of work in that area. <laughs> That's what I was hitting, and that is coming off of that tree there. That would just destroy a cylinder mower reel and bottom blade. Yeah, so it's something I'm going to have to have to think about. All in all, that's neatened it up quite well. I've had a lot of growth from these bushes uh, from when I last cut it. So um, having my second go of the Ego multi-tool with the um, hedge trimmer attachment. And uh, look, it slays through the job as you can see. And uh, more and more, uh, jobs on this more regularly I'll start to get quite a manicured look with these bushes and shrubs. I do also have a review on this product and most of the attachments just click the top right and it'll take you to the video. To the second mow with the HRU 216VYU Honda at the lowest setting to really neaten and sharpen it up. Now this retaining wall is a nightmare as well, so I'm just whipper snipping that for now. But I'll look to the future of controlling it with uh, a bit more of a heavy application of plant growth regulator. But for now, it's just a neaten up and uh, have a think about uh, how I'm going to fix up this wall a bit because a lot of these rocks are totally loose and yeah, it's not a great scene.
I followed this mo with a half an hour drink just to keep it going along. Rain at Port Augusta, a bit of rain. Thank you very, very much. I hope there's a bit more in it than that, but all very welcome. Now it's time to get serious with the grasses that I don't want, being the Kaikuya and the Common Cooch. And I'm using glyphosate, which is a non-selective weed killer, which means that if you get it on your cooch, it will kill that as well. So you've got to be very careful about how you apply it. all through here through to here and you can see it's a slightly different green to the Santa Ana it's a darker green that is a common cooch there mixed in with a, a bit of rye around here there's a bit of rye here so I'm gonna get rid of that go through here and spray up to about there in the far corner over there is some Common coach. Now there are tufts of grass, native stuff. Let's see if I can get a bit of a better look at those. So I'll be treating all of those. Unfortunately, some of the coach will die off because of it as well. But this is just a really, really quick solution. So basically, that front area is what I'm going to do. Now, a really cool feature of this sprayer, let's turn this off for a second, is that it has a little spray gun. So I can redirect the pressure towards this spray gun and use the spray gun. I'm gonna test on these little weeds here, a bit of coal throp here. That's what we want. That's good, nice, quick and handy. The more you pull down on the lever, the, the quicker the stream gets. So if you pull on it lightly, you'll get that. Pull it on it deeper, you get more of a spray, uh, direct spray. Well, I've got some beautiful soil here to get down. I'm definitely on a timeline. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to go do some border stuff for a couple of weeks. I don't know exactly when I'm going. I've got this on Wednesday, the 25th of March. And look, there's still quite a bit of heat here. We're gonna have some days in the 30s very soon. This is a nice blended loam from Heinrichs. 
I'm going to get that, this down. Now, ideally, I would have liked to have waited to have the uh, glyphosate work a little bit, but that's not going to happen because I just don't have time. But uh, it's already starting to look a little bit, a little bit worse for wear there. But yeah, I'm just going to get it down, get it down, get it down. Let's hop to it. Yeah, it's nice, deep, and rich. Love and life. your forge to holes your place in your bed showing no regret close your eyes to hide your lights roll the dice you got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass but you're bound to break down bound to lose bound to get knocked right out of your boots when i use my You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my So I will obviously try and keep the content up even though I'm away and keep you updated on what I'm doing for this lawn. It uh, might be a weekly thing, it might be a, a fortnightly thing, it might be a monthly thing, it might be even longer. I don't know exactly uh, what's going to be happening for me day to day, so I'm not sure if I can get back. But anyway, with this current COVID-19 crisis, I wish you all the best of health and look, do everything that you can to minimise transmission of the disease and get your lawn on. Stay safe everybody. Yeah.